Hello everyone, I'm your host Alan and welcome to the third episode of the second season of Catch Up. From K-drama, K-entertainment to K-pop, we are more than excited to share tons of topics with all our fans with our brand new March edition. So without further ado, let's dive in. Catch up with the K-content trend, let's catch, catch up! For this month's edition, we've also invited a very special guest, a huge K-content fan who will bring out some fresh vibes just like spring that we're living in right now. So please welcome Natalia, yes! <laughs> Hi, my name is Natalia, I'm from the United States and I make content about what it's like to live and work here in Korea as a non-Korean. Oh, yeah. Welcome yeah. Natalia <laughs> once again. And um, can you briefly share where you used to live in when you were living in the United States? Sure, so I'm actually from Austin, Texas, which is the live music capital of the United yes. States. And there, you're also known for the UT, UT Austin, right? Yes, which is not my alma mater. I went to the, <laughs> I went to the other school. Oh. I went to the rival school. Um, but it's, it's nice. I like both. Yeah. <laughs> I used to live in California, so I mean, being on the show with Texan over here feels amazing. <laughs> so Natalia, I've heard you've got a special experience that shows your huge interest in Korea. You used to study as a language student at one of the South Korea's top tier college, Korea University, yes. which is amazing. I got eliminated from that college, <laughs> by the way. And now working as a marketer here in Seoul. South Korea, right? Yes, I work in influencer marketing here at a skincare company. Oh, wow. Yes. Obviously, I can tell you are so into Korean culture, by the way. And when it comes to talking about culture, I think K-content and K-pop are major factors that usually make foreigners to dive into Korean culture, right? So could you please share some of your favorite um, K-dramas, entertainment shows, and even K-pop experiences to share with our catch-up fans? So my favorite, all-time favorite Korean drama is Signal, which is a drama that has two current day detectives who yes. work with a detective from the past to solve crimes. Mm -hmm. The storyline is just so good. I always tell people they should go watch it if they haven't seen it, because I think it doesn't get as much recognition as it oh, needs. <laughs> yes, it's available, by the way, in um, a, lot of, you know, a lot of North American and South American countries via Fest and Avod platforms. And also, it's been remade in Japan. I did yes. not know that. Um, starring Sakaguchi Kentaro. Okay. Uh, who is a major star in Japan. So this is so amazing. And Signal, obviously, in Korean version, it stars major um, celebrities such as Kim Hye-soo. Yes, yes. She's amazing. I've seen her before and met her before. She's so wholesome, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I can definitely tell you're a huge K-content fan. Oh, by the way, you know Signal, so this is so amazing. <laughs> awesome, with our special guest, Natalia, let's check out what's up for this month's catch-up. Let's get it started. CJ and brand new rom-com title, Wedding Impossible, gears up to continue the wedding syndrome that was started off from Marry My Husband. As the heart flurrying rom com genre, which CJ and is best at producing, Wedding Impossible is ready to captivate global audiences' attention once again. So, about Wedding Impossible, this is a brand new title. So, we've got so many things to talk about as it is a rom com series that our global fans have been waiting for and eager to watch, right? And um, most importantly, it is the first ever K drama that stars Chun Jong Seo. Known yes. for her amazing performance in Bargain and Ballerina, and stars Moon Sang Min from Under the Queen's Umbrella. And recently, it's been topped in one, 103 countries worldwide. Wow. Yeah, this I did is not amazing. Know that. Yeah, it just popped out like last <laughs> weekend, so that's an amazing news. So, have you ever um, get a chance to watch? The show. Yes, so I've seen the first two episodes and I can tell you I'm already so invested in the plot and the characters and where the story will go yes. over the next as the episodes are released. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's the first time Chun Jong Seo appearing in the TV series right. as a rom com right. character. What do you feel about that one? I love her character already. I love the way that she interacts with other characters. Mm -hmm. I love the way that she, when she's in an unfavorable situation yes. with other characters, she's not about it. Right. In, in the episode or in the scene where she's with Moon Sang-min's character, yes, yes. in the car, she decides she'd rather leap out of a moving vehicle than have to deal with him. Oh, yes. And I found that <laughs> so funny. I she was on the ground. She literally threw her body <laughs> to, the, to the road and I was like, what? Right. Did that really happen? I, was, <laughs> I thought it was even more charming when she went back in her head and thought, I did the math. I don't understand why I passed out. Yes, yes. <laughs> 
I thought that was so funny. <laughs> that was so funny. Also, like, um, she used to be in a lot of, like, serious and, like, you know, really cynical um, characters in TV series or, like, movies, right? Like, such as Bargain, which is one of our, like, top um, series from CJNM. But she, I'm seeing her as a rom-com character means a lot. Like, she is quite different from previous rom-com characters that a lot of K-drama um, TV series have showcased before, right? She's really, like, natural. Yes. It's, she's doing a great job, and I'm excited to see how she portrays her character in upcoming episodes. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So obviously the previous title, Marry My Husband, was a great success also. So it is on the trend, and it seems like Wedding Impossible is ready to attract global fans with different elements as the OG rom-com drama. So what do you think is a key element that makes global fans fall in love with rom-com K-dramas these days? I know for me, something that I really love about Korean mm. dramas, especially the ones focused on romance, mm. is that they offer a great escape from reality. That's so true. It's just That's so comforting to live in somebody else's life. I know. Even if it's only 60 minutes. I know. It's great. You can literally sympathize with the characters, right. obviously. And to be honest, like in reality, we don't get to have that kind of situation. Right? All the time. <laughs> like, Marrying with travel, like, right. you know, tons of money, and you know, your long, long notice, long learned friend is now like this, like, Tibber Thumbs here, right? Right, now. secretly rich. Oh my god, <laughs> and the fact that he's um, gay. Oh, right. <laughs> is so different from other K dramas, and obviously, the plot line is similar to previous rom com, but the, how celebrities portray in um, Wedding Impossible is quite different from previous dramas, right? I mean, the title can be seen as a typical rom-com title, sure. Wedding Impossible, but it's different since performance of the actors are somewhat unlike from the past titles, as I said before. As mentioned before, it's Chun jong sos very first TV series debut that makes everyone get so excited. So, are you a huge fan of Chun jong so This is actually the first time I'm seeing one of her work. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh wow, so like she used to do a lot of serious things as I said before and she is used to known for her really cynical actings and actions and like you know how somewhat like documentary like okay. kind of acting and performances but she is right now becoming a huge celebrity in Korea. Someone to watch. Yes, so more to come for Wedding Impossible, so um, get excited for that. So hope Wedding Impossible can continue the global success of Mary My Husband. As I said before, it's ranked and topped, one, uh, topped in one, 103 countries worldwide. So by showcasing strong chemistry between the cast, which will make the global fans' hearts flutter once again. Apartment 404, the highly anticipated entertainment show of CJNM, is now launched on Amazon Prime Video. Yes! Starring Yu Jae Hug, the national host, Cha Tae Hyun, the boss of the show Unexpected Business, On Ara, Yang Se Chan, Lee Jung Ah from Moving, which is amazing, and finally Jenny from one, one and only Blackpink. The show is already gaining a tremendous amount of recognition from the global fans. So I already watched the first two episodes and lore, the chemistry between the members is just amazing. How do you feel about the show, Natalia? I felt the exact same way. From the moment the first episode started, you could tell the cast was going to get along so well. Yes. I loved how much thought they put into greeting Jenny. I know. Actually, I, know. I thought it was so cute, but also so, so nice. She looked so <laughs> uncomfortable, but also so flattered. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I mean, the way she portrays herself is quite different from her performance. Like, stage presence is like so different, I know. right? She's so adorable. I, d I didn't know. I So, I'm not too familiar with her other TV appearances, so I hadn't yeah, seen her true appeared. personality. Yes, I've yes. only seen her stage presence, but I was so. This is not what I was expecting. I know. You're so cute. I, know. <laughs> I mean, already it's vibing in the global um, industry and for global fans a lot of blinks yes yeah the fandom of blackpink is applauding for jenny's performance right, right and you know how they used to say as fans like she is adorable she's lovely so like you know her stage presence is different from her real life but obviously through apartment 404 we could see some of the right. lovely personality of hers right right that's amazing so the members of the shows are super strong that fans are already naturally enticed to the show as i said numerous times jenny from blackpink since she rarely appears in the entertainment shows these right. days so the 
the global fans must have been very excited to meet her through the show. She's so lovely. Yes. I'm not too familiar with her other TV appearances, but I know she's very selective with what projects she yes. takes on. Yeah, so so true. I'm sure Blinks were more than excited to see that not only are they going to get more content featuring uh -huh. Jenny, but that instead of playing a character, yes. she's going to be herself. Mm -hmm. So they get to see how she interacts with people who aren't Blackpink members. That's so true. So it's, especially as someone who isn't a huge Blackpink fan, I loved it. Oh, I loved oh you're it. a huge Blackpink fan. I'm, I'm not. That's you're what not? I'm saying. Oh, got it. She's She's converting me. <laughs> Into blank. <laughs> Into blank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's amazing. Oh, by the way, so to talk about the show mm -hmm. more a bit, it is based on the real past events that happened what? in Korea. And especially yeah. some iconic it? mysterious events happened in apartments <laughs> in right. Korea. Because, you know, unlike the United States, you know, a lot of apartments, a lot of people are living in apartments in Korea, right. considering the geometrical situation. Um, then what do you think about Yoo Jae Suk's appearance in this show? He's so famous when it comes to Korean variety shows that you so know true. if he's in it, mm -hmm. it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about yes. it. And if you're a global fan who hasn't seen any of his work, let me tell you, just trust me, it's going to be good. Ambassador. Please. K Entertainment Ambassador. If, if you don't like it, you can come for me later. Oh, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> come for her then if you're oh! not satisfied. <laughs> not CJ, just me. Ah! <laughs> I mean, more to be expected, but more to come. I'm so excited. We really hope Apartment 404 can receive a tremendous amount of global recognition and success. And also, you can watch Apartment 404 only at Prime Video. So watch the show after finishing Binge Watching Marry My Husband. <laughs> So that's it for today, and thank you so much, Natalia, for being with us. Could you briefly share how it felt like joining us today? Yes, thank you for the invitation. Oh, thank you. Oh. For <laughs> I feel like I was introduced to so many new titles, some that I might have taken a longer time to mm. take notice of. <laughs> so I'm excited to watch the episodes as they're released and mm. just continue yeah. enjoying Korean dramas. Oh, that's amazing. Again, thanks so much, Natalia, for joining us, and thanks so much to our catch up fans watching the episode. I'm your host, Alan, and we'll be back with some other amazing global news about K-Content. Catch up with the K-Content trend. Let's catch, catch up! up.